person who asked the question in the live chat, I figured 10 other people had the exact same question and just didn't ask. Mm -hmm. So like, yeah, maybe early on you've got a ton of, you've got to do a ton of customer support, but those are all customer service opportunities where, uh, if you was like, okay, three people ask the same question. All right, how can we answer that on the website? Or we had returns for the same reason. Okay, how can we bust that objection? How could we fix that on the website? So like you can rapidly work through those. If you have a customer service mindset, you can work through those things and then apply them uh, to your, apply them as like strategies and tactics to your own website to then reduce the number of inquiries. That's a great question. You adding it to your uh, FAQ portion on your website or just creating blog content around those frequently asked questions because I, and again, a lot of clients will be, what should we be writing about in these blog posts? Well, what are people asking you? What are people, when they're calling, what are they asking? When they're leaving messages in live chat, what are they asking? That's what you should be writing about because if, to your point, Kurt, if one person is writing about this, it's pretty likely more people have that same question. So how can we now take that information and curate it into something that, you know, maybe it's a blog post or again, going into the frequently asked questions. Um, I mean, it's a great way to just survey uh, what your, your consumers are looking for. Yeah. And the, like one of the, and if the goal is just, Hey, let's reduce inquiries. Well then just provide a better experience is mm -hmm. really what's going to do it. Um, yeah. not hiding is going to make things worse. Um, but you can do like, <laughs> yeah, the FAQ page is the easy way out, but what you can also do is then that assumes people visit the FAQ page. Mm -hmm. So you probably want like the Q and a on individual product pages. Um, some review apps will support stuff like that. Or maybe, you know, these are common questions that you can add to the description. Um, and then on the contact page, put like your top three questions you get as like FAQ questions before the contact form and say, Hey, like you got a question. We're happy to help. Like here's their top three Q and a, um, and then the fourth one is, well, you know, what if I didn't see my question answered here? And you say, Oh, well check the FAQ. And uh, if it's not there, then, you know, contact us below. And that's really going to just something as simple as that is going to really uh, reduce the, the total number of inquiries. That's awesome. And, and